Now at times the side chains are also so complicated and are none of the the five or six that we already studied maybe isopropyl it's not an isopropyl it is not a sec butyl it's not a third butyl it's not a neopentyl okay but it is it is some complication in itself okay whenever you come across that you name it according to the when you name then you name it according to the rule that that we rules that we have enumerated till now the same rule applies okay so take the side chain uh, separately okay and and apply the same rules when the side chains are complicated and cannot be named in a simple manner then the rules that we studied till now then the rules that we studied above applies to it applies to it however care must be taken that the carbon which is attached to the parent has to be numbered one however care is taken to number the carbon attached to the the carbon attached to the parent chain as one now that is significant so so there that minimum locant rule that does not apply okay you understand there you do not start start naming it from the other side just because just because the the groups are attached they they get a lower number so maybe say this say this say uh or or maybe say uh say a methyl here and an ethyl here and 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 another ethyl here okay now what happens had i named it had i named it from here so 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 or or or, or let this not be there uh, let there be this okay now if i had named it uh, if i had numbered it okay so so no say another or, or, or let there be two methyls no issues or, or let there be an ethyl here okay now what do you do 1,2,3,4,5 what do you do in such cases so so hold on that that we'll discuss next don't worry when you have when you are trying when you have two chains of the same length as suddenly it happened here i was trying to name a side chain suddenly something else cropped up okay so but uh, that we'll discuss next don't worry okay we will we'll discuss that next when there are two side chains of equal length then you choose that side length which has more number of substituents 
which has more number of side chains okay so so if i had numbered it from here one two three four five then the locants that i would have got would have been less than when i had numbered it like this okay but since since this is how the the parent chain goes right this is how maybe the parent chain goes okay and and this is a side chain of say a parent chain which might be this long so you have to name the carbon which is nearest to the parent as one irrespective of the locant rule so when i say that the rules that we ab uh, studied above applies to it that lowest locant rule is an exception that may get violated okay that may get violated so this will not have to be written so its name will be its name will be 3 4 dimethyl pentane dimethyl pentyl sorry dimethyl it's an alkyl so pentyl and say it is it is at whatever carbon say say in the parent in the parent it is at one two okay so so here the parent is is kind of c c c c c c or something like that and it is attached to which which parent parent carbon third so you'll write three and then put it under a bracket okay then you'll put it under a bracket okay so <clears throat> so the carbon of the carbon number of the parent is put followed by a dash followed by by a parenthesis within which <clears throat> the name of the <clears throat> of the side chain is written and and it is if you if you kind of understand uh, if you understand the rules you'll find them to be pretty commonsensical in the sense that <clears throat> if i write it like this you do not start considering that this is the main carbon that i am naming right that is the whole whole philosophy otherwise you might mistake it for the main chain the parent chain and and you may start kind of writing the parent chain something uh, as something else that's all that is all okay so so we'll take an example and and try to see <clears throat> so so i have maybe okay a c and a c and a c and a c okay <clears throat> so maybe from here from here I I take it down okay and and there are say something like this and this and and say at this I have an ethyl 
Okay. Now you see, and this is what I was I, I was saying till now. So maybe this is the seventh one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> so there are two chains of equal length. Okay? Two chains of equal length, both ten. Which chain should I take? So you see, if I take this as the parent chain, there are two side chains. One, two. This, this whole is, is one side chain. Okay. If I take this as my parent, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one side chain, second, third. Rather, sorry, 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 sorry. The, this whole is one, third. So one, two, this whole as third. Correct. So it has three side chains. Understand? This has three side chains. So which one will I take? The 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 one which has a larger number of side chains. Okay. <coughs> so. If there are two side chains, of the same length, then the side chain which contains a larger number of then the the sorry the the parent chain which contains a larger number of side chains if there are two two if there are two sorry I, i'm extremely sorry if there are two parent chains of the same length then the parent chain which contains a larger number of side chains is taken as the parent chain okay that is one the second one is that is one and and then for side chains the carbon which is attached to the parent chain is numbered one okay there's one more thing that you should understand since since if there are so many methyls or ethyls then then you have to then you have to name them alphabetically then Th and this is very very vital that iso and neo isopropyl isobutyl iso and neo are considered as integral to the name of the alkyl group So, so what I what I am trying to say is, if you have an isopropyl, if you have an isopropyl, then when you are trying to arrange it alphabetically, you will take this and and not as p, i as the as the thing. So, so if say there is an ethyl. Then otherwise, or, or or say say methyl, 
then if I had taken this then I would have written methyl then isopropyl but now I'll take isopropyl and then methyl because I comes before him <coughs> same with neo the n of the neo is considered the 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 name of the of the side chain right of the butyl group but however however sec and third sec and third are not taken taken as integral to the names okay okay so if it is sec butyl then it will not be the sec that will decide it will be the b of the butyl that will decide it why because because uh, this is just indicating that the that the carbon is a secondary one or a, or a carbon is a tertiary one understand fine now if if that is the case then we can name this we just saw this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I'll be taking this as the parent chain because it has 1, 2, 3 substituents while this would have had only 2 side chains. Okay, 2 side chains. So, I take this and how do I name? Do I name it from here? No, I name it from here because, because these are the nearest. So, so, so no confusion in that. So it and, and and there are H's there. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. They are there. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now what what does it mean? I have three three dimethyl. Is it not? So start writing. You you should write three three dimethyl. So I have taken care of of the two side chains. So so this is done. This is done. Okay. Now I have to take care of this, and this naming is a bit involved. So I'll 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 name the side chain by following the rule that we learned. One two three four or one two three four does not matter. It will yield you the same name. So it is and it has to be here. Somehow if you had named it from this side then, then <clears throat> the locant would have gone up. But you don't have to look for the locant rule when you are doing this. Okay. So that is, that is locant that is lowest locant rule need not be followed you understand <coughs> it need not be followed this was name and this is parent got got erased so okay so so i have 3 3 dimethyl let us try to name this chain this is this is this is this is one so two ethyl butyl no mm. so this is two ethyl butyl and it is connected at number five so it is five this no since it's a side chain it is attached at five okay had it been say ethyl i would have written five ethyl and i would have put that dash the only thing is that since it is a bit involved, the name itself is like a chain. So I put it inside a, a, a bracket. So it is. So it is. That and it is what ultimately.